Hello, today I'd like to share with you some tips and techniques working with cord. Cord comes in many wonderful colors. Um, this is some rubber cord, some leather cord, some satin cord, and we have some hemp cord. And here we have some cord tips and cord coils. Those we will use to put on the ends of the cords. First I'd like to show you how to glue in the, uh, the cord end. So for that I'm going to use a five minute two-part epoxy. Some people are a little intimidated by this, but it really works very well. It's a very strong glue. You basically, the concept is you want to press both sides of the syringe at the same time so that you get an equal amount of glue out at the same time, like this. And then I like to stand my glue up like this because that keeps it from leaking. And you take your toothpick, and let's say I have a little bit more of the yellow glue on this side, so I just leave some of it out and mix equal amounts, just like this. And you want to mix it up really well. Now, with the toothpick, I'm going to pick up my cord end and just fill it with glue. You don't want to fill it too much because then the glue will kind of tend to squirt out, but just enough so that it will hold your leather end. You just place it in there gently and leave it to dry. It'll be dry soon, just like that. This is an end coil, and I'm going to finish the satin cord with it. So again, we just take a little bit of glue and push it into the coil end. And you kind of want to go back and forth a little bit to get some glue in there. This cord end is a bit smaller than the other one. So you just place some glue in there and then insert the satin cord in there. And you just want to push it far enough in so you feel it's very secure. And just let it set to dry. It'll be very strong once it's done. This is some hemp cord. And this is um, a clasp that has the cord ends on either side. So here you see I've inserted and glued the hemp cord already into this side. And all you have to do is push some glue into here and push this cord into it. So now that you know how to put your cord ends on, I'd like to show you a couple of necklaces. You can see that on this purple cord, the, um, the cord ends are actually so pretty with the clasp that you can use it as a design element. And also on this other necklace, you can see many, many cords going into the larger end cap. So there's really a lot of great ways that you can use this. Have fun with your cord and your cord ends. Thank you for joining us at the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Studio. My name is Arbel. Happy beading!